and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined the program today. Please, while we're going through the uh, show, call those prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY, so you don't have to go through things alone. That's 637-PRAY, 7729 at the end. Uh, <clears throat> uh, periodically across the bottom of the screen, and we've had so many people touched and so many breakthroughs and so many salvations and healings and I mean, marriages and just so many yeah. things. It's just wonderful. It's a safe place for you to call. We've even had pastors call and confess sin and evangelist and I mean, a lot of things on those prayer lines in 10 years. And next month, we're going to have our birthday because it's Yay. 10 years old. Oh, my yeah. goodness. That's awesome. So we'll have a little cake and mm -hmm. we'll have fun. And, yeah. and so anyways, yeah, 10 years old. Can you believe it? Uh, how amazing is God? Well, anyways, we're going to get on with the ministry, but I'm Charlene back to Mary, one of your God's View hosts. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So thrilled you joined us, and I know you're going to be too, because it's a ministry show, and God's going to minister to your heart. We try not to teach. We just pray and prophesy and do whatever the Lord says. Jennifer Griffin here, uh, Priscilla Pruitt, and Lana Gardner, and we're all so thrilled that you joined us today. We love the Lord. We love you. We love each other, and we're thrilled to be being used for such a time as this <laughs> in the kingdom of God, in the kingdom of God. You know, it's just, I'm still trying to get the Facebook thing. I'm sorry. Oh, but we're live, so I can't be doing, I mean, we're, we got to be going. This is the network. So anyways, again, thank you for joining us. Uh, we pray for you today. We believe the best for you today. God's got something planned out of heaven. There's been something stirring and brewing, and I want to uh, just encourage you with this and prophesy this, decree it, declare it, proclaim it. There's been something brewing. There's been something stirring in the heavenlies, and it's a good thing from God. You know, we're always hearing the bad, and we're always saying, this is in times, and this is going to happen, and that's going to happen. Yes, is it going to happen? Yes. But in those times, God's still going to fulfill purpose. Amen. He He's still going to fulfill dreams. Yes. He's still going to fulfill destiny. And he wants to encourage you today not to just get off on all of the demonic, all of the things that look bad and seem bad. And you may have been one that was in the middle of something so devastating. You may have lost your whole home in floods or hurricanes or tsunamis or sinkholes. or I mean, there's all kinds of things, fires. There's, I mean, there's so many things that are happening mm -hmm. in this hour. But God wants to encourage you. There's something that he's about to do. And you feel very uneasy. There's an uneasiness, and yet there's this anxiousness that's not, uh, I, I don't even like to use that word. It's like a, um, it's not an anxious, like be anxious for nothing, God says, but everything make your requests known and your prayers, and then the peace of God will guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is not that kind of anxiousness. It's kind of like a, like, you know, a horse ready to get out of the uh, gate and just run this race. Well, you're one of those stallions right now ready to get out, and that's because God is shaking the ground underneath you. You're feeling an earthquake, but it's a spiritual earthquake, and that earthquake's going to get you just like in the prison, and, and God's just showing me this right now. When Paul was in the inner prison, the worst part of the prison, and they just uh, at midnight started praising God, started praising God, and guess what? An earthquake hit, an earthquake from God. It wasn't a bad earthquake. We don't have to look at bad earthquakes. It was an earthquake that yeah. broke their chains. It was an earthquake yeah. because praise broke chains. It was Amen. an earthquake because of the power of God. And this is the kind of earthquake he's talking about right now in your life. And so just see it differently. Come on, rise to the place where God is speaking to you and causing you to see. This is still an hour of fulfillment. We're in the greatest time in life. If Jesus came next week, we're still in the greatest hour on this earth, which I don't believe it's going to happen next week because there's a lot to be fulfilled before that. It isn't even biblical. There would have to be a whole lot take place in a week, which could, because God says sudden <laughs> destruction comes within an hour. Hey, yes. could, but really, I believe with all my heart, we have some time. And I know people will say, oh, he's coming tomorrow. Or he was, I mean, he, he was coming September 23rd. We had a Last weekend. Time. We were here all day. And, you know, I didn't change my plans mm -mm. because somebody said Jesus was coming and the nope. world was going to end. My friend was, it was so funny, making fun of me. Remember, well, video of the rapture because uh -huh. you're six hours ahead of me. 
you know, we don't want to make fun of those things, no, but it you day have day time. God wants to fulfill. So there's an earthquake shaken, but that earthquake's an earthquake from God, and it's bringing you to a place of destiny. It's breaking off chains that have held Amen. you back, mm -hmm. that have not allowed you to go forward mm -hmm. because of fear, because of lack of this, or because of lack of finances. But you, you got to barrel through those things, and you just got to trust God. You know, God uh, spoke to me to start this new business. Well, did I have everything in order? Did I have what it took to do it? No, but each mm -hmm. step he has fulfilled, and that's what he's asking you to do. Take mm -hmm. that first step. Abraham took the first step. He went up that mountain. He put the sacrifice, his own son, on that. And then God speaks, no, and what comes out of the thicket? God's got something out of the thicket yes, for you. you He's got it that's going to come. Yes. You just obey. And, and what he is asking you to do, just sacrifice whatever it is, because he made the ultimate sacrifice. It's a test, only a test. Amen. Hallelujah. Powerful. Wow. Mm -hmm. I love it. Oh, love it. <laughs> I'm like, don't stop. Yeah, no, I'm like, don't stop. Yeah, a spiritual earthquake. Yeah. I and you know, kidding. Angela Beth, I've got something for you. Ooh, yeah, Angela, Angela Beth, you know what? God has had a special plan for your whole life. You bring a joy when you walk into she a room. Does. There's a presence on you that God has placed on you that brings joy to people, that brings laughter. There mm. could be people that have a heavy heart, and you don't even realize how many times you've been in a place in a situation where God has used you to take that off and bring the joy of the Lord and bring strength to that person and there's been this thing that you have battled with within Yes. All your life, you have battled, battled, battled. And God says, I want the battle to stop raging. I'm speaking today, be still to that storm. Yes. You have looked upon yourself differently. You have compared. And even in times when you were younger, and even times now, the enemy, you, you'll wish, you'll say, oh, I wish I had that hair. I wish I had so-and-so's name. I wish I had this, or I wish I had that. Because the devil tries to make you feel lesser than when you are the most beauty queen that he has set on this earth. He's, you're one that he calls Esther because when the other queen, Vashti, made all the mistakes, then guess what? Miss America started. They started looking for mm -hmm. a new beauty queen. They mm -hmm. started looking for somebody and they found somebody godly. They found uh, a godly yeah. lover of God, Esther. And he calls Amen. you an Esther. And he calls you that person. And as you walk along, Esther was one of the most beautiful women, I believe, in the Bible. She was stunning. And that's why that king wanted her. And I'll tell you what, but God put that beauty on her. He's put a beauty on you. He's put a beauty on you, Angela Beth. Yes. He's put something in your heart. And there's something stirring there, too. And there's going to be breakthrough. You have been crying out to God for breakthrough in your household in your uh, marriage, everywhere. Not saying, and people need to know that because we called out a name, that doesn't mean somebody's falling apart or anything else. But you've been crying out for certain breakthroughs in those areas. And God's going to come. And he's going to do a new thing even in your husband. He's going to do a new thing in you. You watch and see what mm -hmm. God is saying indeed. And you know, Angela... And the things that you have cried out for mm. is like like some of these are just smoke screens because you are I don't think you get this and and Priscilla you know her Since I was she 14. is so <laughs> beautiful oh, so on beautiful. the outside has no idea and she has that same quality inside but yes. because of the enemy coming mm. and making comparisons in your life and looking up to this mm. and looking up to that and that's great that you look up to some people and you look up to even you look up so powerfully to your own father you look up to the mm -hmm the uh, character in this man and these kind of things God is saying mm. but God says yes, um, I'm going to do a new thing in you and I want you yes. to just look to me and know and know and be secure in what I'm doing mm. in you be secure in you and that mm. what he is doing in you so because it's it's there's there it's it's as great as what he's done in anybody. It's as great, but devil comes along and makes us compare. Mm -hmm. And so we think if we put a little more lipstick on or if we do our hair a little different or whatever, it's going to bring something to us that is going to make us feel better or more secure but there's no place and you know this there's no mm -hmm. better place than the feet of Jesus you Amen. know this because God said that you've you've heard the gospel that you've been around the gospel but God said this is a gospel that's going to make you really say 
really say, like we just did a show on this, Christ, you're the son of the living God, and he's going to build this new thing in your heart. He's going to yeah, build this foundation. Jesus, he's awesome. breaking He's yes. breaking down an old foundation. There's been a foundation that's built that has been rocky, mm. that's been unstable, that's been cracked. Mm -hmm. And only you know some of those things. But he's come in, and he's asking you the question again. Yes. And he's saying, who do you say that I am? And he's going to build upon that revelation, Angela. He's going to build it in a new way. It's going to be so powerful. You're going to look back, and you're not even going to be the same person in a year. Yeah. You're going to look back, and you're going to say, wow, this is wow. really me. Yeah. This is really me mm -hmm. because of the confidence and because of the things and that you will know. You will know that you will know that you will know that you, mm -hmm. know that you have what it takes and what he put in you to where the devil can't come and make you compare to this or that. And I'm telling you, there's a new day for you. There's Amen. a new day for your household. God wants to bless your kids. He wants yeah, to tell you that you don't right. have to worry about those kids, mm -hmm. that he's mm -hmm. got God's them, kids. Mm -hmm. and that he's going to continue to bless them. He's, he's going to make sure that the enemy does not yeah. take them into the world. He's going to uh, do a great thing in those children, mm -hmm. and he says you are a good mother. Great and sometimes mother. you think, oh, God, I do, I'm just such a, no, 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 no. God wants to say from heaven yes. today, you are a good mother. Because we have, we also said some yeah. stuff about that today, too, about how we say this yes. or that. And you have been mm -hmm. there. You have done it. And you want to pull your hair out sometimes. But God is saying to you, you are a good mother, and he is proud of you. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I heard, too, with, when you before you talked about the children, <laughs> about, you know, with Angela, with um, your husband, the change, and with you, the change. But I was hearing that God, it was going to really impact the children, too. And yeah. So that's what I'm hearing. Yeah. And she's spoken about the children after that, but I really was hearing wow. it's going to wow. impact Wow, that makes children. me so happy. She's mm -hmm. one of my closest friends. I love her. But uh, I also feel that, I mean, that was spot on. And oh, I know I haven't great. been telling you anything about her. Yeah, you spot never told me anything about her. Spot yeah. on. Mm -hmm. But um, I also feel like it's for other people who are going to be watching this. And I think yeah. it's, it's insanely... Um, it can't be a coincidence that all the subjects that we're talking about this month feels like that's what he's he's bringing today in the ministry yes, show. I yes. feel like there's somebody out there that has a critical mother that it's just breaking Ooh. your spirit. Oh. And um, I feel like there is somebody out there who has heard all these criticizing, so just oh. bringing you down that you're never enough, that you're not godly enough, that no matter what you do, you're just you you can't win. And I, I want you to know that your heavenly father says that you are more than enough, that yes. you are worthy, that yes. he loves you and that he died for you alone and he would do it all over again just for oh, you alone. Jesus. Don't listen to what the world says about you. Even those who brought you into this world have failed you and they will fail you again and again. But your father who knows every hair that you have, every strand and that you have on your head again again. will again. never but fail you. He is here for you. And he loves you yeah. unconditionally and will never stop loving you. All you have Amen. to do is surrender your heart to him. Mm. You know, I, I just feel like the, the Lord is, is drawing so, so many people so, at this time, such a time as this. Yes. And he's, he's telling you to get going. He's put something on your heart and you haven't started. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. feel like he's saying... Start. Start simply. Yes. But simply start. Yes. yes. And, and he's saying, don't have any fear because you can't go the wrong way. Yes. He's saying, if you go the wrong way, I'll turn it around and oh, put amen. you in the right direction. Amen. That's amen. good. That's so, good. Oh. So it's just so important for us. You know, a lot of times God tells us to do something and we want to see the whole picture. Yes. Mm -hmm. But that's not faith, is it? No. Uh -uh. No. Right. He said, just start yes. and I'll direct your paths and I will lead you. Praise God. Amen. 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 And he will open up doors that he wants to open for your life. And he will close doors that he wants closed. Mm -hmm. and, and he's about to take the, the Jericho walls that are in your life, all these walls, yes. and just pull them down. Yeah. Help him. Yeah. Help Amen. Him. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And, you know, and for, that, for those people out there with that, um, I just really believe there's joy in the journey. There and you got to grab hold of the joy yes. and, and embrace mm -hmm. each day because yes. a lot of times we, we look at the the 
something maybe that God has put before us, but we don't really learn to walk each day and, and, and really go, I'm going to embrace this day. I'm mm -hmm. going to embrace the joy, what he's having me do today. You know, step by, you talked about step by step, just do it. Yes. But embracing that journey um, along the way is a big deal. And, yes. and to walk in joy because it'll give you the strength to follow through with what you need to do. Amen. 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 There's so yes. many people out there today that God really wants to encourage. Mm -hmm. uh, things have just gotten so tough and so hard and, and the enemy is magnifying that. But I've said many times that circumstantial ev evidence has put many people in prison, literally. And then they found out years later they were uh, not guilty. Well, don't let circumstantial evidence of the enemy today put you in a prison mm -hmm. and keep you in that prison. God's already set you free. He's already taken the guilt. He's already done it all. Come on, it's time. God is stirring up right now for you to really step in to the promises of God. There's many of you, even my, um, uh, even Karen, Karen, Karen Stone, listen, God wants to continue to encourage you. He wants to continue to speak into your life, Karen. He wants to continue to tell you this thing is going to pass. This too will pass. He wants to continue to tell you one day yes. you can have everything that you dreamed of. You can have perfect health. You can have the perfect man. You can have all of that. You can have a wonderful life because never give up. That's the key. Mm -hmm. God wants to encourage you today that he's still got a good plan for you, Karen. He still has great things in store, but there's one thing thing that is on your side that God requires of you, and that's to believe him. I rebuke any, any demonic signs. I cancel every demonic assignment of oppression, depression yes. that keeps trying Jesus. to come against you mm -hmm. and keeps trying to come on you. We take off the spirit of heaviness that comes with oppression, depression, uh, gluttony, lack of faith, all of the discouragement, all of those, no joy, uh, heaviness. We take it off because God said, put off the spirit of heaviness. So Karen, every one of us on this panel right now are green with heaven and we take that off, that spirit of heaviness and we put on you the garments of praise, Karen, and that there will be praise and worship that continues to come from your heart. Mm -hmm. You're one of those yes, that God is yes, uh, yes. doing a spiritual earthquake, just like he did for Paul, what I spoke about earlier and prophesied. There's an earthquake over his mm -hmm. you know, people right now, and this is a spiritual earthquake. It's not a bad thing, but it's a thing that will break chains and cause praise to come and cause you to be set free from your prison. Karen, you're free. Yeah. You're free in indeed and you got to come back to that place sit at the yes, feet of Jesus, Jesus every day and I know you're thankful I know you love him I know you serve him I know all yes. those things but allow him ne yes. don't let the devil allow you to sit at the feet of why if how come and all that sit at the feet of us thank you Jesus Hallelujah. thankful gratefulness yes. keeps the open heaven yes. Karen he's got good things for you still don't let the devil take it he says your part is to believe me Karen your part is to come back into a great faith because there's been things that have crashed at your ship for so long. He's made the circumstances look so big that, that, that you're going to stay in some kind of prison. Uh-uh. We break that right now yeah. in the mighty yes. name of Jesus. Thank you, yeah. Lord. Hallelujah. You know, you know uh, I just want to add something to that, and, and okay. that is the only way that we can lose is if we stop pressing in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen? Yeah. Amen. That, that even the Israeli children, you know, God told them, you're going to be in a battle, as you all are. You're going to be in a battle. But if you fight, yeah. I'll bring you the victory. Yeah. Amen. So, so the battle is already won in your life. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that you're going through, don't fear mm -hmm. the battle because mm -hmm. you win. If Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, and you are a born-again child of God, He is going to bring you through. You yes. can't lose. Amen. Now, are you getting this? Say it. Say, I can't lose. Amen. 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 <laughs> so, I love that. God, but, but one thing I think that God is saying, to, to come in his presence. And you know what? You don't even have to talk. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's better if we don't, if we could just be still mm -hmm. and know that he is God. Let him do all the talking. Uh -huh. Let him do all the directing. Yeah. Amen? Amen. And, and that he, he wants to refresh you. 
when you're in his presence for the journey. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know, another area, too, is start speaking in tongues. Get your prayer language. Paul said, I wish you spoke in all spoken tongues more than I do. So he's telling us we all have that. Oh, no, it's only a <clears throat> gift for certain people. No, no. Certain people have a better gift in it, you know, are just uh, are more powerful in that area. But all of us have the gift of speaking in tongues. And when you're speaking, <clears throat> when you're speaking, you're, you're directing God's heart and you're saying the right thing and you win. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we just thank you for winners. We thank you. Yes. We're winners and not losers. We're thank you. We're victors. Mm. We thank you for everybody watching Amen. right now, God, that Father God, that they have the gifts of the Spirit in them. I want to tell you, when the Holy Spirit came into you, he brought all of heaven. We we, we just uh, decree and declare and prophesy right now, proclaim that yes. you rise up, that that comes forth out of your very being, that you start using the gifts of the Spirit. That And what Lana was talking about, it's all about the gifts, and God just wants to stir you today. He wants to stir you in those gifts because I'll tell you the gifts of God make an invisible God visible to his people because when somebody comes in and speaks to you like we're speaking to you today and we didn't know you from Adam or, or we didn't know anything about you and all of a sudden God becomes real to you because you go oh my God that you know that was the yeah, Lord because yeah. we don't know anything and so God wants to uh, still go back to encouraging you today in those mm -hmm. gifts. We bless you. We say stir the gifts yes. God in every person watching right yes, now in the mighty yes, name of Jesus. Lord. Let them know the importance of it. Let them know that it's not just this gift or that gift or that gift. When the Holy Spirit came in them, that God, he brought everything from heaven. And we just thank you that it's the power to raise people from the dead. The Holy Spirit is raising people from dead places today. He's raising you from places that you have stood in so long and believed and been tormented of. And, and just, you know, you've just fell and prayed to it because the circumstances went on for so long long that all of a sudden they were so magnified and looked so big you you felt like you were never going to get out of it but God is saying he's calling you out just like he called Lazarus forth I'm telling you when he took those grave cloths off Lazarus came out of the dead place and literally dead because he came to the voice of God he came to the voice of Jesus it wasn't just something out there it was the voice of God and the voice of God is just roaring over you just like he roars yeah. over the seas he's roaring the things of his plans and purposes right. over you. He is. He roars over yeah. your heart today. He's sounding an alarm just like when there's a yes, just like when there's a tornado in a city and all of a sudden you hear all the alarms, woo, you know, to tell you to take cover and, and alarms you and awakes you up to danger. He's alarming. He's sounding an alarm in the heavenlies. He's sounding an alarm and he's roaring over your heart to bring you into that destiny, to shake you and to wake you up and say, I've got this thing for you. I've got it. Just receive it. Just accept it because he wants that for you. I'm telling you, I would not be sitting here today if all the prophecies that were prophesied over me, please hear the word of the Lord today. They they, they got me so pregnant because I didn't believe it. I thought, what rock hit you on the head? You know, because I came out of this horrible life yeah. and, and I just believed all the lies and all the horrible stuff. But when the prophet started speaking over me, and when the word of the Lord, like we're doing to you today, it got me so pregnant. All of a sudden, I was just walking in it. Mm -hmm. I just believed it. I mm -hmm. gave birth to it. God's birthing today. He's birthing in and through you. He's bringing you to a new place. He's got earthquakes under the ground that are good earthquakes. He's breaking chains off of you. I love that song. Yes. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain, yes. right. Break every chain yes. God. Yes. Break every chain and yes. set your people free. Free. Let them believe you it's again. Time. Let them have the joy mm -hmm. of the Lord again, which is their strength. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. And I feel like there are people flipping through that are going to be watching this, and they're going to say, I don't believe. I can't believe that there is a God that would do these things that have been happening, these, these earthquakes and these... Uh, natural disasters. I can't believe that there's a God that would allow so much death and so much pain and so much hate and so much, because there's a lot of hate going on in this world. Mm -hmm. You know that doubting Thomas himself, he doubted and he said he would not believe till he sees Jesus comes in front, if he comes in front of me and shows mm -hmm. me the holes in his hands, until then I will not believe. Mm -hmm. Well, Jesus is here today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And he has called us and told us about you specifically. And it's not by chance that you are watching this Amen. today. You are watching this for a reason. This is real. Jesus loves you and he died for you, you alone. Yeah. It's not an accident. Mm -hmm. Fall on your knees right now, wherever you are. Mm -hmm. Say, forgive me, Lord. Come into my heart yes. and be born again. Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. You know, and when you were saying breaking, breaking every chain, breaking every chain, you know, mm -hmm. um, I really believe just, just as you're falling to your knees, God, break these chains. You, yes. you know what they are. You can even feel yes. them. Some of them maybe you mm -hmm. don't understand. But say, God, I, 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 I thank you for breaking these chains, breaking these chains of my mindsets, breaking these chains of oppression and depression right now in Jesus' name. And I believe he's faithful to do it right now. It's time right now mm -hmm. for you to get set free. Mm -hmm. And I felt like there was anointing when you were yes. saying break yes. every chain. Yes. Every so every it's, chain. Time. Yes. it's time. It's time now that the chains be yes. broken. Uh -huh. You know, if there's a life style that you're living that you're 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 you know it's not right mm -hmm. ask god break mm -hmm. my desires That's break right. the chains mm -hmm. of that off of yeah. me in yes. jesus Ooh, name i just seen addictions addictions yes. Yes. break the chains yes. of addictions yes. alcoholism drugs god yes. addicted to food yes. god break those addictions yes. to right. pornography addictions oh. we break you That's off right. of god's in jesus, people in jesus yes. name Amen. right now and off of those That's who right. aren't saved right. so that they can see the yes. true and living god did it today there's people yes. that are lost that watch us there's people that are lost that call us and yet, you know, we intrigue yes. them, yet they, they aren't born again. Yes. But we mm -hmm. break every chain yes. of addiction Amen. off of your life right yes. now. Many Chains of you are begun. crying out to God and saying, I've tried, I've cried, I've begged God. But no, so right I'm now we just happy. release yeah. the power cases. of God, yes. the fresh yes. anointing for discipline to follow yes. through. Sometimes you've cried out and then uh, it comes knocking at your door and you just give in. Just decide to be disciplined and yes. go forward. Yes. Oh, I can't believe this show went so fast. <laughs> Listen, God loves That's you. God. And he's yes. breaking the chains. He's breaking the chains yes. of addictions. Listen, we thank love you. you. Yeah. We yeah. thank you for tuning in today. Mm -hmm. We thank you that... Um and that you 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 share you know tell people about God's view because we are seeing so many people come to Jesus mm -hmm. so many people around the world with the prayer lines and the salvation mm -hmm. that God is using us and we are so grateful we don't even know how many people girls that have really been saved we'll yeah. only know it in wow. heaven yeah. we'll only know That's it in true. heaven because some people never tell you yeah. but Jesus wants to come into your life today he oh. wants you to be saved the only way you'll get to heaven there's one way truth and life it's through Jesus Christ He's the only advocate, the only intercessor. He is the way. Please listen to us today. I've tried all other kind of gods, and mm. nothing happened until I tried Jesus. Amen. I mean, not tried him. I got him. <laughs> Amen. And man, I'll tell you, I she experienced got life. Amen. And so just say, forgive me of my sins, Lord Jesus. Mm. Come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. I can't do this anymore. The pieces are so shattered. I'm a mess, but I know these women said, you can do it. Do it. Take my yes. life. Pick up all these pieces and make me whole again. Make me feel peace make me feel so wonderful because it's his joy that comes in that's your strength if you need strength today you need Jesus say forgive me of my sins I confess with my mouth I believe in my heart that you're the son of God yeah. and Lord I know anybody who calls on your name you said would be saved Oh, I'll tell you, time flies so fast. <laughs> this, <laughs> this show went so fast. It went too just, fast. We want you to know that Jesus loves you. We love you, but Jesus loves yes. you more. Remember, you can watch us on Droids, iPhones, free apps, YouTube, Roku, all over. We got to go. We love you. It's only goodbye for today.